Waitress alarmed when patrons asked to settle the bill in private, but soon realized why. Ashley had been waitressing for a long time and knew from experience that quiet patrons had a tendency to be difficult. If she ever felt uncomfortable she'd swap tables with another male staff member. Tonight was too busy for that. Sea Grape Cafe was a popular student bar. So why were these older men there? They were easily the oldest people there and looked like they didn't belong there. Ashley's gut told her that they had a hidden agenda, but what was it? Ashley had encountered many different types of patrons. Some good and some bad. Some were even rude and unfriendly. But she'd never encountered a customer that refused to settle their check. She wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. It was time for her to bring them the check. And Ashley was relieved that the night was almost over. Soon she could go home and relax. When she asked to collect their payment, they asked for something from her instead. Maybe they wanted more drinks? One of the men had put the folder with the check inside under his arm. When she tried to take it, he wouldn't let her. He then held it just out of her reach as if teasing her. She was too tired for games. Staring into her eyes, he pushed his chair back and stood up. His friends followed suit. Without a word, he signaled towards the back room door. He motioned for her to follow. But she was hesitant. Ashley was so confused. She didn't know exactly what they wanted. From her and fear set in. The man insisted and moved in closer to whisper something in her ear. But she couldn't hear him. Over the background noise and loud music, she understood that they wanted to pay the check in private. At this point, Ashley was terrified, and her thoughts were racing. She started scanning the room looking for the manager. Did they want to complain about her service? Ashley was an attractive young girl, and was used to patrons making advances. But she wasn't sure if this was the case. She didn't know what to think. She just knew that she didn't want to go into the back room with these strangers. She caught Carlos as he rushed past her. When he saw the fear in her eyes, he knew she needed help. Ashley was so relieved he was there. And she briefly explained the situation. He said he'd take over from here. Carlos went with Ashley to the back room to see what these men wanted. At first, he thought they were dissatisfied with their service and wanted to complain. Little did he know these men had Carlos and Ashley exactly where they wanted them. Ashley's suspicions were confirmed once secluded in the back room. These men had admitted to observing her all night. They said they noticed the other bartenders were run off their feet as well and they were impressed. Carlos let out a sigh of relief. When the man handed Carlos the bill, he saw the gratuity amount that was written down, and he couldn't believe his eyes. He saw a five and two zeros, the bill was only $112, and this was a $500 tip. This was unheard of. When Carlos thanked them for the $500 tip they told him to look again. That's when he saw the extra zero. The tip was, in fact, $5,000. At this point, Ashley burst into tears and Carlos' face went white. After Carlos and Ashley composed themselves they were able to ask the all-important question. Who were these mystery men? What was it about the Sea Grape Cafe that made them want to share their wealth and tip the staff such an exorbitant amount?
the man went explained how they're part of a group that's called Tips for Jesus. Their mission was to do the Lord's work one tip at a time. They had the financial means and wanted to spread God's love using their resources. These men had been traveling across the country visiting restaurants and leaving huge tips to hard-working servers. To date, the tips have amounted to $11,500 in Manhattan alone. Soon enough their story gained momentum through all social media platforms. Ashley had in fact been trying to collect toys and blankets, and non-perishable foods for quite some time to donate to this charity. She had even approached some of her co-workers to see if they could donate anything, no matter how small. Ashley felt a sense of responsibility after being blessed with all this money. She felt she needed to pay it forward. She went to the local toy store and bought as many toys as she could and donated them to a charity. She was so overwhelmed by what these men did that she didn't keep any money for herself. Instead, she chose to use all the money to buy toys for Al's angels. But this wasn't the first time she'd given to the needy. Ashley had in fact been trying to collect toys and blankets, and non-perishable foods for quite some time to donate to this charity. She had even approached some of her co-workers to see if they could donate anything, no matter how small. This gift she received from Tips for Jesus had come at the perfect time. These men had no way of knowing what a generous heart Ashley had and somehow they chose her. This goes to show how kindness results in kindness. Till I get up, time is barely on our side